the curved packaging debate. What is the curved packaging? This is something I call the curved packaging. Is where the packaging is curved in the corner there, which is not usual in, of course, many stores. This packaging, I believe, is exclusive to the UK. Certain stores get them in, but the UK also does getting the normal type of packaging. We can see the differences here in the packaging. The hook is different, the colour at the top is different, and of course the corner is different. That is the main difference of the curved packaging. It has been around for many years. Uh, I believe one of the first years was 2020 when it started in the Blue Desert. There's a few 2021 releases. I wasn't too bothered about it. Then, I only really started in 2022, when I really noticed this difference. But yeah, take Todd the Pizza Planet truck here. Now, granted, this is a different year release. This is the 2023 Todd, and this is the 2024 Todd. Now, yeah, it might be slightly different if this was the 2024 Todd. But yet yeah, again, this is international packaging of Todd, not the USA packaging with the cars on the back. So we can see some differences straight off the back. We can see that the you know logo has changed, some stuff has moved around, so the more languages, other stuff, the next gen, the new Mattel logo down here, just some other stuff. Of course, the code which is like here, this code would have changed because this is the curved packaging, HWT57, and then this one is bhn55 now this is 2023 release it might say 2021 because that's the packaging they use i don't know why but then again this is also saying 2021 as well in the copyright we're not going to be talking about that we are mainly talking about the curved packaging as we can see the two tods there pretty nice this is from case bc mix which is a weird case because case a never really hit stores, case B did hit stores, and case C did hit stores, but not in four. It's like they've cut the cases in half, because there is another one that we got in case B, which was Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, and at the time of recording this, I don't actually have the Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen with this type of packaging. So it's actually really strange. I will go through some other packages that I do have to decide. I did bring out one other one from a previous year, but you can see, apart from the main stuff, the artwork is exactly the same, just that it's not cut off in the corner. We can see Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, still the same Thailand variation that you can find at Smith's Toys. See, he's got the base holes there to be towed by Tomata. And of course, here is the back. We can see that curvedness there, as seen in cars. Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen in a bunch of different languages. And there is the other information. Again, it says 2021, even though this is clearly a 2024 release. So that is Lightning McQueen. We'll get into Kevin shortly. He is probably one of the most dramatic differences. I have talked about him on the channel a few times. He is pretty hard to find. But here we have Rodet Marker. This is a brand new release for 2024. Released in 2024 singles case B and E from, of course, USA in full. I do actually have the USA card here, so we can see the differences. The USA, Australian packaging. Now, one, noticed, one notable thing is that people will probably question, is the license plate still upside down? And sadly, it is still upside down. So they didn't fix that, but you know, you guys can see the differences here. The hook is different. The car's logo is more bigger on the American packaging, which is strange because they got the new for 2024 logo, whereas this one doesn't have it. We see the curved packaging there, but the metal, the 3 plus, all that stuff is still there. On the back of the packaging, we can see, of course, just Rodet Marker herself, the promotional image, Rodet Marker in a bunch of different languages. And on the back, we've got the USA packaging, which has Road Trip McQueen, Pit Stop Asaurus, Cryptic Buff Tomato, Mato, Manu Kaha, and Adam Rodriguez. we got those cars on the back, which are all released in this packaging. This type of packaging. I've only seen Mallory, Road Trip McQueen, and I believe Mato in this packaging so far, which is strange. Yep, those are the differences for Rodet Marker. Now, the biggest difference of them all, the one that you've all been waiting to see, is Kevin Shifter. I did a review on him recently in channel, so I'll leave that link in, of course, you know, the top right hand corner there. 
But, yeah, this is a completely new artwork for Kevin Shiftwright. We can see. I did bring out his 2024. Now, these are both 2024 releases, both on international packaging. So, they are both from the UK. So, UK, Canada, as you can see. It should be exactly the same, except for the curvedness at the top, of course. Let's just go through this stuff here. So, yep, it's all in the same spots. We've got the recycling information up there, down here, logos. Now, the code has changed. It says GKB15 here, whereas this one says HWT59. So, maybe that's the only thing that's changed. And of course, DXV29, FF005. So, those two codes might be the only two that have actually physically changed on the back of the packaging, which is strange. But yeah, I found this one in B&M stores in the UK, and I found this one in Asda stores in the UK. And it seems to be extremely hard to get hold of. I mean, I really do like how they updated the artwork. Reminds you of the Disney store variation of Kevin Shiftwright. You can see it here. The die cast in the packaging is exactly the same. I wish I bought two because there is two in the case, just to, you know, have for purposes. And I don't usually overspend or overbuy on cars, but it's nice to see the two packaging differences. The cars logo is actually more bigger on the international packaging original compared to this packaging, which is strange. So, yeah, that is the curved packaging for Kevin Shift, right? Now, there is one more I did want to compare him to. With, well, compare him to, so compared to, is Doc Hudson from 2023. So this is before they updated the dark, darker box. We can see this is the curved packaging, and this is the regular packaging. We can see the differences here. Of course, FF05 and DXV29 on the top code there. This does, of course, have the punch perk instead of the hook itself. The die cast in the, set, in the packaging is exactly the same. It is not a variant whatsoever international packaging so yep the only thing that's changed here is the code down at the bottom nothing has moved around whatsoever except for like the punch hole code r43 r40 so again it is exactly the same just the difference is it is curved instead of hooked i guess you could say it's a strange packaging for sure i don't know why the uk has this packaging Maybe some UK experts can let me know in the comments below. But it is cool. They did make like ones from 2022 Case J, like Lewis Hamilton. We got Hydraulic Ramon in yellow. We got those packaging. We also got Case A of 2022. I don't have all of them, of course, because I didn't really focus until I really noticed the differences. But yeah, I might have a pretty cool video tomorrow for you guys on some more curved packaging stuff. I'm going to leave it here with you guys. Comment down your thoughts, what you think of this curve packaging. It is really strange. But it does make for some pretty nice, unique stuff. Like Kevin here. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification button down below. Until the next video, which will be tomorrow. Peace everybody.